Hey guys, Phil here with Tennis Unlocked, and this is the video series where I take outrageous and spectacular shots that pros hit on their first try in major tournaments, and I see how many tries it takes me to complete them. I'll show you how you can practice these shots on your own and what I learned along the way, and hopefully it's going to help you improve your game. Let's get into it. It's play time. Oh, Roger, come on. Why are you doing this to poor Burditch? Look at him. He's scratching his head. He doesn't know what just happened. Let's take a closer look at how this all goes down. So we got 33-year-old Thomas Burditch at the top of the screen. We got 37-year-old Roger Federer at the bottom of the screen. The head-to-head -head record is 20-6 and six for Roger, so he dominates Thomas Burditch when he plays him. Roger's up 4-2 and 40-15, so not only does he dominate Burditch, but he's ahead right now, so he's feeling very relaxed about the whole situation. So Burditch is going to serve here, Roger's going to hit a deep return, and Burditch is going to reply with a low forehand down the middle of the court. He does a great job here of getting low. Look how low. Burditch is 6'5". He's 6'5". I've always admired this about Burditch. Look how low he gets to get this ball back to Roger here. So he does a great job off that deep return, but Roger just just does that. <laughs> and poor Burditch is left uh, thinking, what is going on here? I mean, crazy shot from Roger here. So very relaxed shot from Roger. He, notice here he has his racket up he could technically go uh either way on the court with this shot so that's why it's so confusing for Burditch here I mean Roger could go deep in the court and Burditch is stuck there on the baseline because Roger could go to the left or to the right with this ball deep but he just knifes it and Burditch is just stuck in cement All right, guys, let's take a closer look at the footwork on this shot. So we got Roger returning Burditch to serve here. He's going to return the serve. He's going to land on his left, plant with his right, and push back into the court. He's going to cross over karaoke. He's going to shuffle once. He's going to do a little quarter shuffle here, plant his left, step into the court with his right, get a little airborne, but continuing to move forward through the drop shot. Very interesting footwork on this shot. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at Roger's swing here. So he steps in the court and he knifes across the ball with backspin as well as a little side spin. Look how high that ball is as it's coming over the net and drops in oh so softly with all that backspin and side spin. Little closer look here. Roger makes contact flush right in the middle of the racket, cuts across it, and look how he brings both of his arms back and the racket finishes behind his body. Let's take a closer look at how we're going to set this shot up. So we got our first cone where Roger's going to start moving to the left back into the court to go to his backhand. Second cone is going to be where Roger plants his left foot and steps into the court with his right to start the drop shot. And the final cone is going to be where the ball actually lands in the court. So that's going to be how we're going to set this shot up. All right, guys, let's start with a quick overview of the shot before we break it down individually into components. So we got Roger here. He is hitting a return of serve. He does a little jump and he starts moving to his left to go to his backhand side. So he starts moving to his left. He does one shuffle, two shuffles, plants his left foot about foot and a half behind the baseline here, steps in with his right, racket is up in the air here, and he comes down and slices the heck out of this thing, um, carving it uh, for a drop shot winner. Now, the deceptiveness of this shot really comes from Roger's ability to hit multiple shots from the same racket position. This is what's confusing for poor Burditch on the other side of the net because Roger's here, his racket is up. Roger could hit a slice, deep slice to Burditch's 
forehand. He could easily hit a deep slice to Burdich's forehand. He can also hit a deep slice to Burdich's backhand, just like that. But he doesn't do either of those two things. He goes for the drop shot, and uh, that's why it was so confusing for Burdich on this shot, because Roger really could have done anything from this position right here. Deep to the forehand, deep to the backhand. He went with uh, the most ridiculous option, which was the drop shot winner. But um, let's try and work on each individual component and uh, put them all together and see what we can get. All right, guys, so let's try and get a feel for this shot and uh, how we're going to need to hit it in order to get it to land and spin backwards. I mean, that's the whole point of this shot. Roger's shot doesn't hit the court and keep going forward. Roger has so much backspin on the shot that he hits it and then it comes back into the court. So that's what we're trying to replicate on this shot is Roger's massive amount of spin. So that's why I have the cone set up there. The orange cone is where Roger's ball lands and the green cones are meant to be a barrier for what I'm not allowed to cross on this shot. So I can land it anywhere within that zone and the ball has to come back. It can't go beyond those green cones on either side. So let's try and hit a few here just to get a feeling for uh, how we're gonna hit this shot. Let's see here, so we start here. Okay, that was just a standard drop shot and you can see the ball just keeps going. It just keeps going towards uh, the back fence. So that's not what we're looking for. That's why Roger got so much height on this ball because you need all of that rotation to keep it <clears throat> from getting that forward momentum. So let's try a higher one here. Okay. That's more of what we're looking for. So that one didn't end up going uh, to the back fence. It just went sideways. So that was much better. So I feel like I got a, a, a decent feeling for what I need to do with the last portion of the shot. Uh, I'm gonna try and incorporate the footwork and uh, put it all together and see if we can replicate it. All right guys, so as far as incorporating the footwork into this shot, it's a basic one shuffle two shuffle plant step in. Um, I have another piece of tape right here where I'm actually trying to throw the ball so that I can get it to come up about hip height. Roger makes contact with the ball about at his hip level here and he comes down on it, strikes it pure right in the center of the racket as he's coming down on it, strikes it pure hip height and then comes through like that and then moves into the court so that's what I'm trying so let's give it a shot see how many attempts it's going to take me uh, I feel like it's going to take me quite a few but I'm hoping I get lucky on this one so we'll see all right let's give it a shot hey guys attempt number one let's give it a shot see how it goes so we got our jump shuffle shuffle plant step hit Shuffle, shuffle, plant, step, hit. Gosh. That was horrible. I think that was a toss issue. 0 for 1. Let's try it again. Okay, that one I hit with uh, the frame of the racket. So that was no good. Shuffle, shuffle, plant, step. Oh, so that was a good drop shot, but uh, it just kept it just kept going. That had zero height on the ball. Um, I had a massive amount of left spin on it, but uh, that's not what we're looking for. We're trying to really get the ball to go up and land softly. So let's give it another go. Oh, that looks good. There it is. Oh, wow. Okay, it keeps going. Nice. So I think that one landed and it stayed inside of the, uh, the green zone, the target zone. I'm gonna count that one. It's still going to the left and it still hasn't passed the green cone. So that one managed to actually get 
a ton of backspin on it. One of the keys to the shot is obviously hitting it super high uh, in order to get that rotation backwards on that ball. So I'm gonna hit a few more from here, uh, see if I can do it again. And uh, then I'll go to the other side and see if I can hit a few as well. All right guys, so I tried to hit a couple more and I came to the conclusion that uh, this shot is very, very hard. So uh, I wasn't able to get the same effect that Roger gets on the ball, having it drop in the court and then come backwards. Uh, let me show you an example here of some extreme spin. There's an extreme spin shot and it landed and it came a little bit backwards, but, uh, but it, it still tailed off to the left. Um, so it wasn't the full effect that, that Roger got on his shot. Let's try it one more time. There's another one and it lands. It's trying to come back, trying to come back. There's one, oh, that's decent. So these are ones that I'm hitting pretty good and uh, they're getting a good amount of spin on them, but uh, they're just going sideways. They're not necessarily drawing back into the court like Roger's shot did. And um, the ball, the court, the conditions, wind could all be part of it. Um, in any case, the first shot that I executed, uh, I feel like it was a successful attempt uh, considering everything. And uh, I'm going to try and hit a few from the other side of the court to give you a different angle on the shot and uh, see what we can do from there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button below, subscribe for weekly content, and uh, get out there and try this shot yourself. It's an extremely difficult shot, maybe two to 3% success rate for me, two or three out of 100 that I can actually get to land in that area and come back towards the net or just go sideways for that matter. Uh, very tough shot. If you're gonna go out and practice this shot on your own, maybe eliminate the, uh, the footwork portion of the shot and just try and focus on uh, the contact with the ball and getting that severe slice on it. Oh, see, that's about as good as I can do right there. <laughs> uh, eliminate the footwork portion and just focus on the swing portion and uh, you can get this shot down too. And if you hit it in a match, uh, you will be a hero amongst your friends. There's no doubt about that. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.